Hey y'all, today's client is getting a virgin relaxer, meaning she doesn't have any prior chemicals on her hair. Therefore, instead of just relaxing her new growth, we are going to be doing her ends as well. Before we get started, I'd like to share with you guys that my client and I did have a discussion off camera about the risks that come from using these products in this video. Although I promote healthy hair, I do believe you can have healthy relaxed hair as well as healthy color treated hair and even healthy heat trained hair as long as you are knowledgeable about your process. I chose to share this particular video just to show my personal process so by no way is this a tutorial so I don't really want to come off too teachy you know I honestly wouldn't even advise my clients to do this at home because the relaxers should be applied quickly to avoid over processing over processing your hair and the last thing you want to do is rip through your hair trying to stay on that timeline Traditionally, while applying a relaxer, I would apply half an inch away from her scalp through the mid shafts and then bring it through the ends at the end after avoiding the scalp barrier but applying to her roots. My client requested a serious cut and I knew that we were going to cut the ends off. Not because it was unhealthy, but because as you guys will see in the prior clips, her natural hair was really eating. She just opted for something fresh and something new. And I just want to say that when my hair is freshly done, I am a totally different person. Like my husband, he already know what time it is when I step in the house. It's just like, he got to figure out who I am that day, depending on the style that I have. And so I just need all the attention on my hair just for the day. I'm not asking for too much, okay? Thank you. I feel like it's so important to educate my clients on how this is a chemical change and not something you shouldn't research for yourself. Being honest with clients is genuinely how I built up my clientele, but I know y'all are gonna do what you see fit for yourselves and I so love that for you. But please y'all, respect other people's decisions for themselves. You never know what people are going through and why they decided to do the things that they do for themselves. To me, leaving texture in the hair helps to retain the elasticity. I really don't want my client's hair to be stiff. Roller sets are a great way to add moisture back into the hair. I did use a mousse, and my favorite mousse right now, y'all know, the OG Design Essentials. Um, this just helps to add moisture back into the hair while, get, while giving it body. Also, since she's freshly relaxed, I'm going to chill on so much heat this time. And then maybe next appointment, she could get a flat iron or we can do something different. I use different relaxers depending on who I service. So to view the products that I use on this particular client, please click the description so you can see the products and ingredients before investing your coins. Okay, okay, do me a favor. Please hit the like button if you found this video useful or send to someone who has been eyeing the creamy crack, okay? There is really hope on this side, ladies. You can have relaxed hair and have healthy hair, okay? Don't feel like you are in a box, okay, for yourself. My life is beautiful sea. I chose to be happy. You and I, you and I, we're like diamonds in the sky. You're a shooting star.
40 on them, go. Motivate, 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 motivate. Damn, I love your sense of humor. You don't get caught up in rumors. You don't be talking about. Hey y'all, so uh, y'all, as y'all can see, I was in Starbucks just editing and, you know, just trying to get some content because sometimes I don't really know what to film, so I just take my camera with me and I just met a new subscriber inside of Starbucks. So if you're watching, hello. I don't really have nothing planned today. I am in Dallas. For the weekend and uh today is friday so i'm gonna be going home on sunday so until i have to pick up my nephew i am just you know running some errands in dallas trying to make the most of my trip out here i came to north park mall just to lollygag and maybe buy something i wanted to get some new shampoo and stuff because it's time for me to re-up on my shampoo and uh you know stuff like that but I'm gonna go afterwards. I'm kind of like on a tight schedule because my brother lives like an hour um, outside of Dallas. So it, it took me like 45 minutes to get here and plus I'm driving his big truck. So y'all know I'm nervous and oh my anxiety on the freeway. I was like, <laughs> because this truck is so big. I'm not used to driving such a huge car. So I was so nervous. I had to like clench. Y'all know, I had, it was clenching, like, mm. yeah, so, um, I basically, I'm just about to go up in North Park Mall and see what they have. I think they have a Zara here, so, we're gonna be here for a little bit, but, um, yeah, I don't have anything planned, but I, should I take y'all in? I'm not sure what to even, calm down, but yeah, come on. Uh, let's see, bye. Hold on, let me go turn the TV down. So, I don't know what's wrong with the lighting. It's tripping. Yeah, I had did uh, some shopping at Northland. Northland? Is it? I think it's Northland Mall. I think so. And I'm going to show y'all what I got. I really didn't get that much, but I did get some stuff. Um, I don't know if I said this, but I am trying to switch over to, like, or more. That wig? Yeah. Oh, your mom's wig. That's my nephew, guys. My nephew, um, he had a soccer game today. And he won. Come on, let's show him the gritty. You ready? Yeah. All right. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Let me know if I do it okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's good. It's not it. You said what? You're starting to. <laughs> he said. He said you said. Now, my nephew got his mom some flowers. Isn't that so sweet? He got his mom some flowers for Mother's Day. Baby, that Grady got me sweating, okay? I must have been hit there. Okay, Y'all try these. These are so freaking good. It's called True Fruit. I got these from Target. I saw some that were on the aisle, like in the pantry aisle where it wasn't cold. And then I saw these in the freezer section they're only nine 90 calories okay but the serving size is three pieces these are so good it's chocolate and white chocolate and then there's strawberries in there what i had them on the plane so good okay so i got some pants from zara and these are super long but no holes in them because I don't know, I'm so over the rib jeans. So these are just dark denim, but they kind of flare out a little bit. But it's like a raw edge on the end, which I feel like will look cute with some pumps or something, or even some sandals. I got the, I sized up in these pants because because of the length. I don't I don't know if y'all know, or if y'all notice, but I'm 5'7. So I like my pants to like sweep the floor. And um, also my waist, my torso, I have like a longer torso. So 
I like to size up and then just kind of do the little scarf at the back for the buckle. Y'all know how the pants stick out a little bit. Um, just so it can tighten in the waist and then, um, but still give me that like length that I need. Y'all see my bucket hat? It is hot as hell. And I'm not taking this bucket hat off because let me tell y'all what's under here is atrocious. I've been wearing this hat for three days. So I stopped by Aveda and look at God, y'all. Like the day I stopped, I went to the mall on Friday and I went in there. If y'all didn't know this about me, I used to teach at Aveda briefly, but I don't teach there anymore. But I absolutely love the products because they're organic, they're natural, and a lot of their stuff is like plant based. So I'm trying to make the switch from using so many chemicals. Like I still want to have like the chemicals in the shop. But I want to use them in moderation. So I want to do a plant-based silk, silk press using products that are not harmful. And then I will like use like treatments and stuff for my clients who have like special needs or something going on with their hair that we need to address more aggressively. You know what I mean? If y'all didn't know, like I'm like a holistic healer, okay? Um, so a lot of the stuff like plants and stuff have the stuff that we need for our body, but it just takes a little bit longer for it to work. So, yeah. So I went into Aveda and the lady who worked there, she was such a good associate. Like she was very, she, she had a lot of knowledge on the products and she gave me a bag full of samples. So I got all the samples, and then I went in on a Friday, y'all. The next day, she was like, on Saturday, they was having a 25% off sale, and I could call in and um, order on, over the phone, and then just have them shipped to my house, because y'all know I'm not, I don't live here. I like the light. I don't know. So anyways, this is, I'm, I'm in my brother's house right now, so. Okay, so I got those shoes, and then I got these shorts. Also sized up on them as well because of the length. You know, I can't, my legs are super long. I can't be having my boots. And they already have the cuffs at the bottom, and they're high-waisted, but they're, like, green. And they have the buttons on the side, and I felt like the buttons on the side was going to give me that little curvy look that I need, and this little part here was gonna make my stomach look real flat. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I just got some little basic tank tops, of course. And I got some shirts too that I wore because I didn't really pack a lot of stuff to come to Dallas. And I also got the Ebony Woods. I had been seeing this on YouTube everywhere a long time ago, and I just never saw it in the store. So when I saw it today, it was the last one. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It was a bug on me. Did y'all see that? Nobody even said nothing. It smells so good. Smell it. This smells so sexy. I love it. it it's very masculine, too. Like, I like a masculine scent. So... That's basically what I got. I got some other stuff from Origins, which is also like a little plant-based company and stuff like that. Not much. My whole bag ripped. And, and then, girl, I thought that bug was on me again. I didn't really get to talk to the camera. Or I don't even know. I, I need to look back on the footage and see exactly what I got, but I don't feel like I got a lot of um, footage of me speaking to y'all but when I was in the airport I went to Mac and I got some makeup it's been a while since I got some stuff from Mac so I don't know I'm trying to level up my makeup because have y'all ever gotten dressed did your makeup took some pictures and then when you look at the pictures you like <laughs> oh yeah I got this from Zara too I got a little stain on it, but yeah, which is not surprising. 
But this is just like a little crop top. And I wore it with some cargo pants. Y'all can't see, but. Y'all, let's taste these. I already tasted them, but I want to taste them again. Let's see if they're still good. They're still frozen. This is how they look. Mm. Mm -mm. They're really good, but I don't like cold. I don't like them to be freezing cold. I like them to be room temperature. Yeah, y'all, let me go take this hat off. I'm sweating, and I don't want y'all to see what's under this wig, so I'll see y'all soon.